Hey everybody, welcome back to Healing Through Yoga. My name is Alexandra and this is brought to you by Homicide Survivors. As always, I'm so glad that you're able to join us from wherever you are. Hopefully you're somewhere comfortable and safe and can come to a still place for the next 20 to 30 minutes or so. Today's class is going to specifically focus on yoga before bedtime. For many of us, we struggle with getting to bed, being able to unwind from the busy day or stressful thoughts or anything that we are dealing with. And so hopefully this practice will give you the tools to come to some stillness, find some comfort and peace before um, resting your head on that pillow for the night. So that being said, today we will be using a pillow for our practice. Um, I recommend the firmer or thicker the pillow, the better. Um, it will assist us in some of the shapes that I'm going to suggest we move through today. So as always, uh, use whatever you have available to you. Um, you can always fold a blanket, do whatever you need to do, and we'll come to our mats and find a comfortable seat. I encourage you today, whether you're practicing on a yoga mat or if this is a practice you're going to practice on your bed, it's completely optional. If you're on your bed, you already have the cushion and support of a mattress, but if you would like to place the pillow underneath your sit bones for some additional height and support, then similarly doing so if you're on your mat. And we'll start just by coming to this space, taking some deep breaths on our own. It's been a long day visualizing yourself just really leaving the day behind you as you come onto your mat onto your bed this is now a sacred space for you and only you in the here and the now and as you start to bring that awareness inward noticing the breath Simply allowing it to move at its own natural pace. As you exhale, root down into the hip bones and get heavy in both legs. Eyes can remain open or closed here if it feels comfortable. As you inhale, gently begin to lift through the crown of the head and feel some space in between each vertebrae lengthening in the spine. Exhale, lower shoulders down, melt them away from the ears. Inhale, grow a little bit taller, rising up through the top of the head. Exhale, release the breath completely. Bring awareness to the belly, maybe even place one hand over the belly here. One hand over the heart. On your next inhale, deep breath in, fill the belly up with air, fill the ribs, lift the legs. I'm sorry, the lungs fill up with oxygen. As you exhale, release. Notice how the chest softens, the belly softens. A couple more rounds of deep breaths. Fill the lungs up completely. When you get to the top, maybe pause for a second or two and then slowly release the breath. Lower both palms gently to the tops of thighs or knees, keeping a soft bend in the elbows. And then do a gentle check here. Maybe at this point you like to kind of shift the weight backward and forward or side to side. Kind of check in with that center balance point, bringing head over heart, heart over hip. Once you find that place of almost suspension here, just completely balanced, 
slowly begin to allow the eyes to gently open. Bring palms together in front of the heart. Rubbing the palms as slowly or as quickly as you prefer. Noticing the sounds that this makes. The sensation you might be feeling, maybe you feel some heat being generated as you rub the palms together. And then slowly begin to squeeze the upper arm, so opposite hand to opposite arm, giving yourself a nice big squeeze and allowing that to lower down to tops of thighs almost like a gentle leg massage here for yourself. And then bringing both palms back together in front of heart center, this time interlace fingertips or interlace fingers so that the wedges of your fingertips press into one another. And then gently push the palms forward Continue to keep a soft bend in the elbow here, so no need to overextend. Keep it nice and soft and gentle. As you inhale, lift palms up to the ceiling. You'll feel the arch in your back here, so imagine that the low ribs are moving down towards the tops of the hips, but continue to lift gently through the chin, lifting the gaze. Exhale, lower arms down to your sides. Inhale, palms face up, reach up. And exhale, lower both palms down. Big inhale in. And exhale, lower palms down. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower palms down. Bring fingertips to the outer edges of your hips. So if you're on top of your yoga mat, fingertips are pressing down into the mat. If you're on your bed, fingertips are pressing into the sheets, the mattress. Gently push down through the fingertips to lift through heart center, lift up through the chest. Continue to soften the shoulders down and away from the ears. If eyes are closed here, slowly begin to open them. And gently grab that pillow out from underneath your sit bones. Maybe give it a nice gentle fluffing so that it can fill up with some air. And from here, place the pillow behind your hips. So right up against your hips, your sit bones, and then with knees bent, feet on the mat or on your mattress, slowly begin to lower vertebrae by vertebrae. Depending on how big your pillow is or just your body proportions, your head may um, still be supported by the pillow or it may fall down to the mat or to the bed. Continue to keep your knees gently bent here, or if you prefer, to straighten the legs out completely. Also, depending on how big or stiff the pillow is will depend on how gentle or intense a back bend you may be experiencing here. If you'd like a more intense back bend, the option is to always fold the pillow Continue to keep that pressed up against the low back where your uh, sit bones and hips meet. And then again, gently lower down. So this will definitely offer a more intense back bend here. Allow shoulders to soften. Arms to rest down at your sides, palms facing up. Bring awareness back to the breath. Notice if you've been holding your breath or the breath has become shallow. Continue to deepen the breath with long inhales in through the nose. And even longer, slower exhales as you release the breath. We'll 
be here for one more breath, deep inhale. And exhale, release. Slowly begin to bend one knee at a time so that the soles of your feet are planted firmly on your mat or back onto your bed. Bring palms facing down, pressing down into the mat, and then leaving with your tailbone, so to press the hips up and forward. Gently pull the pillow out from underneath you and lower hips down. Hug both knees into the chest. Either wrap around your elbows or grabbing the shins if that's more available to you. Crossing the ankles, crossing one ankle over the other, gently pressing back and forward to come up to a gentle seat. Grabbing your pillow and again, placing it right behind you so that it's in line with your spine. Bring soles of feet, pressing down onto the mat or onto your bed. From here, allow both knees to gently fall over to the left side. You're going to create somewhat of a 90 degree angle here. So left knee is bent, left ankle is in line with left knee. So you create 90 degree angle here with this left knee. And then similarly, right knee in line with right ankle. Stay here, grab um, actually place fingertips to the outer edges of both of your hips and then gently using your hands on the outer sides of the pillow twist over to the left side stay here keep heart lifted chest lifted or slowly begin to walk the hands out in front to gently rest your chest over your pillow you may feel some sensation on the right side body here. Notice if you can get even heavier in the legs, releasing any amount of effort to hold yourself up. You're completely supported by your pillow and by the mattress or the earth beneath you. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release. One more deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, release the breath. Using your arms to support you, gently begin to press yourself back up. Walk palms in towards your hips. And then untwist, bring your knees back to center. Make any adjustments here that you might need. So if your pillow has shifted out and away from you, bringing it right back up against you, making sure that the pillow is straight and in line with your spine. Take a moment to place fingertips at the outer edges of your hips. Lift the sit bones, maybe lift the flesh from underneath the sit bones, really get grounded here. With soles of feet wide, gently, Allow both knees to fall to the right side. And then stay here or lift your hips, shift slightly over to the right. Feeling a gentle twist, staying upright or slowly begin to walk the palms out in front of you, allowing your torso to rest on the pillow and then resting left cheek down. We'll be here for a few breaths, so just continue to breathe at your own natural rate, lengthening the inhales and lengthening the exhales. Bring awareness to the left side body. As you inhale, feel this left side expand 
lengthen, creating more space as you breathe in. As you exhale, sit deeper into that right hip, maybe twist a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, slowly begin to press yourself up using your arms more than your legs, walking palms in towards your hips, and then gently untwisting. Grab your pillow from behind you. And this time we're going to place our pillow on top of our legs, which are gonna be straight out in front of us. Now I like to kind of grab the flesh out from underneath my sit bones, just so I can really feel firmly rooted down. Especially if you're on a mattress, on a bed, you may feel that you're kind of sinking down in. So placing palms to the outer edges of your hips, push down and back through the palms to gently lift up through the chest, lengthen through the spine, Kind of creating a low curve here in the low back. With our pillow over our legs, option one, fold your pillow in half. This is going to make it a little bit easier as you fold forward, you're gonna feel more support here. Feel free to bend the knees gently. And as you press the uh, front of the torso, into the pillow, gently begin to fold forward. Depending on how big your pillow is, you may be able to rest chin or nose, or even pop a forehead on. Allow arms to rest gently at your sides, or if it's accessible to you, grabbing the outer edges of the feet. Push down and back through the sit bones and press down through the knees, feeling maybe some intense sensation here in the hamstrings. Soften in the upper body, soften in the shoulders. Allow chin or nose to move down towards knees. Relax the back of the head, the neck. And if you'd like a deeper fold, unfolding the pillow for option two, again, leading through the heart, create some space from the lower rib to the hips, so again, nice and long. And then as you fold forward, continue to lengthen through the spine. Deep breath in and exhale, allow the nose and forehead to fall forward. Come back to your breath. Notice any sensation, maybe some discomfort is even normal here. So I just want to bring your awareness to the difference between sensation, some discomfort from stretching and sharp pain. If you feel any sharp pain at any point, feel free to come out of the shape. Slowly begin to deepen the breath. If feet are in the outer edges of, I'm sorry, if hands are in the outer edges of feet, slowly release them. Walk palms back towards the outer edges of your hips. Slowly begin to press yourself back up. For our final shape, we will be putting our legs up against a wall. So if you're on your bed, maybe um, putting them up against a headboard, or if your bed is up against one of your walls in your room. If you're on your yoga mat and on the ground, you'll want to come up to the edge of where the ground and the wall meet. Option here to grab your pillow. Place your pillow right where the ground and the wall are meeting. And then what I like to do and what I find easiest is just getting myself as close to the pillow, using both of my hands to lift my hips, placing my sit bones directly onto that pillow. Then gently lower down to your back and one leg at a time, bringing that up against the wall. 
So you can get here however feels comfortable and safe. And then as your heels make contact with the wall, notice that you can keep your legs soft and gently bent at the knees, or you can straighten out the legs completely. Another option here is to keep soles of feet firmly planted onto the wall with a bent knee. Or maybe you'd like to bring soles of feet together, knees apart. And so really just take whatever option you prefer. We'll be here for a few breaths. So taking whichever modification with the legs, keeping arms out at your sides, palms facing up, or maybe bringing one hand over the heart, one hand over the belly. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Bring your awareness to your toes, to your heels. Bring awareness to your ankles, to your shins, to your calves, to your knees, to your thighs the backs of thighs. Bring your awareness to your hips, to the low back, to your belly, bring awareness to your low ribs. Bring awareness to your lungs, to your chest or heart center. Bring awareness to your collarbones, to your shoulders, to your upper arms, to your elbows. forearms, to your palms, bring awareness to your throat, to your chin, to your lips, softening at the jaw, relaxing the tongue. Bring awareness to the tip of your nose, to the space between your eyebrows, to your forehead, and to the crown of your head. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Hip legs are straight. Gently and carefully begin to bend one knee at a time. If knees are already bent, but knees, I'm sorry. Yes, if knees are already bent, but they're out wide, use your hands to gently press the knees in towards one another. All together, we'll hug our knees gently into our chest. Pressing shoulder blades down and back into our bed or mat. Allowing the eyes to gently open and then carefully be mindful of anything that is around you. Slowly roll over to one side. Taking a moment here. 
a moment of pause. And then using your hands to support you, carefully begin to press back up. If you'd like to grab your pillow, again, placing that underneath your sit bones, coming to a comfortable seat. Legs can be crossed or out straight in front of you. I invite you to close your eyes here as you rest your palms over your knees or thighs or if you prefer to press palms together in front of heart center. Take this moment to send love and gratitude to yourself, to anybody who needs it. Set an intention of a peaceful night's rest, a deep sleep. As always, Thanking yourself for coming to your mat, coming to your bed, taking this moment for yourself. Gently begin to bow the head forward. And inhale, look up. Allowing the eyes to gently soften and open and lowering palms back down. Thanks again for tuning in to Healing Through Yoga, special bedtime edition. I hope you find this helpful and restful, and I hope to see you next week as always.